Hey everyone, uh, it's um, Get Bag the Great here again. Uh, I, you know, I originally didn't plan on uh, making two different, uh, two different, oh, sorry, might have been my Facebook there, you might have heard it, but um, I, did, I originally didn't plan on making two videos today. Uh, I, I mean, for any of you who are new to my channel, basically my schedule is, um, you know, sort of like rants, vlogs, and or maybe a FIFA video on Mondays, you know, playthroughs on t Tuesdays and Thursdays, World of Tanks, or World of Warships on Wednesdays, and then uh, either another World of Tanks video or a podcast or a review on uh, Fridays. So that's how my uh, schedule, I, you know, I try to keep it to that at the moment, and uh, usually I try to keep it to one video a day. Uh, it's very rare that I do two in one day unless... You know, I haven't uploaded something for a few days, or you know, and it's something unforeseen has come up. Um, but the reason why I'm doing another video today is just because I just want to give my tuppence, uh, so to speak, on a particular issue that's been digging away at my mind for the last couple of days. Now, um, as many of you might have uh, might know, uh, there's a YouTuber out there, a very popular YouTuber by the name of Leafius here, and he does a lot of commentary and sort of criticism videos. And they're very popular, and until recently I was subscribed to him, um, but the reason why I unsubscribed to him recently was because of the fact that he uh, made a video critiquing a YouTuber's video called uh, Tommy NC 2010 Now, uh, usually he's quite sort of very critical and quite harsh in his videos, um, Leafy is here. But I mean, there's nothing really inherently wrong with that. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, he has in the past, you know, gone after people who, you know, can take it, who are adult enough to take it. But it's just recently I feel like he's been going after a lot of little kids who don't really seem to be able to, you know, know better. They're kind of just, they're kind of just stupid kids, really. They don't know any better. And I don't feel like that's a really sporting thing to do. But I just sort of like, I don't really care, I wasn't really interested in those videos, to be honest. I was more so interested in his older videos, that's kind of why I originally subscribed to him, you know, his old sort of story videos and stuff like that. Um, but what I, you know, the reason why I unsubscribed to him recently was because he recently made this uh, criticism video of Tommy NC 2010, and he's highly critical of him, even more so than his last few videos, and... As it turned out afterwards, uh, Tommy NC 2010 has a quite considerable autism, uh, which, as many of you might not know, is uh, considered is well, it is sorry, rather a a learning and uh, mild mental uh, disability that a lot of people around the world have, and it's still being researched this day. It's still quite an anonymity. Not many people know what the re origins of it are, and it's quite a sort of hard to you know. A, you know, trace sort of um, uh, disability, really. Uh, I, uh, for those of you who might not know, I myself have mild autism. I'm mildly autistic and mildly dyspraxic as well. And so, I mean, the thing is, you know, Leafy just making a video of this guy you know, usually it wouldn't be so bad, because this guy was about the age of most of the people who I would think would be able to take this criticism from Leafy's hair, and that would be fine, but... Uh, and the fact that, you know, Leafy didn't know beforehand, let me make that clear, he didn't know beforehand that this guy had autism, so... I don't think it's, you know... I do think some of the herd sort of, like, mentality that's clashing against Leafy is here at the moment is a bit uncouth in the fact that he did not know that many of the that that, that this Tommy NC uh, 2010 chap had autism uh, that doesn't make it right because he was very very overly harsh and very overly critical and I don't think he was particularly sporting or kind about it not to mention he didn't really make it very clear that um, you know, he didn't want people to go after and hate this guy you know it wasn't like someone some fucking douchebag like Sam Pepper or, you know, fucking like SoFlo Antonio, who are real bastards and who actually sort of, you know, do real things like, you know, send out fake legal claims and shit like that to other YouTubers and internet personalities. He's not, he's not that kind of guy, you know, give the guy some credit, he isn't a total bastard. He's just made a fuck up that I hope he's going to apologise for. He should do it. He should 
apologise, absolutely. Um, but one thing that sort of really muddied the waters about this was uh, about a day after Alethea's here uploaded this uh, video of Tom, Tommy NC 2010, Tommy made a little sort of vlog on his channel, and by the way, I highly recommend you uh, subscribe to the guy because he deserves all the support he can carry, and he's a very likeable guy, and I like his videos. They're very good. They're very. He does a lot of vlogs in particular, but um, and some of them are quite long, but they're good. Honestly, check them out. Um, but um, but uh, and then after that, yeah, after that, after that, uh, Tommy NC made his own video where he explained that he felt like he was, or that he, well, he pointed out rather that he was getting a lot of death threats and sort of hate from a lot of the fans of Leafius here, and this sort of highlights a problem that I heard. Pyrocynical, who's another similar YouTube to Le similar YouTuber to Leafy to an extent made in his video on this situation in that in which he said uh, that Leafy is here isn't so much the villain as is the you know herd mentality that follows through with a lot of these YouTuber critic videos I mean he did point out that Leafy is here should have made it clear that he doesn't want people to you know go and unsubscribe or go and dislike this Tommy NC characters videos he said that he leafy is here should have made it clear at the beginning that he doesn't want people to go and dislike this guy and go and give him shit and give him hate and i completely agree with pyrocynical on that he was completely correct in that regard um but after uh tommy nc 2010 made his reaction video to this whole situation uh h3a tree productions who is another very big popular reaction uh youtuber he made his own video uh greatly criticizing uh leafy is here and i felt like and after sort of taking a step taking a few hours after taking in all this information taking a few hours to step back think about what i'm you know seen of this whole situation you know taking into account not just you know leafy is here and h3 h3's productions and not even just tommy nc 2010's uh views on it but other youtubers as well like NFRKZ or um, you know Pyrocynical and a bunch of other YouTubers who have their tuppence on this situation and I thought to myself one there's only really one real sort of a uh, full-on good guy and you know innocent victim in this situation and that is of course Tommy NC 2010 uh, Leafy is here, definitely did fuck up, and he should apologise for what he did, but at the same time he didn't know that the guy had autism beforehand, so I don't think we can really blame him too much for that, he was just be, he was just, he just fucked up, he was a bit stupid, and he made a rash decision, and he shouldn't have done, um, but I do think he should fuck up, uh, I did, no, I don't think he should fuck up, I just think he did fuck up, uh, I do think at the beginning of his videos, or at least at the end, he should, you know, paraphrase by saying, uh, you know, don't send these people hate, don't send them dislikes, don't send them abuse, don't s tell them to go kill themselves, because that is shit, that's bullshit, that shouldn't happen. Um, as for H3H3 H3 Productions, I feel like he, um, I don't know, I feel like he did focus to centrally on Leafy is here, and failed to realise that, like uh, Paracynical and many other YouTubers have been saying, that a lot of the hate sent Tommy NC 2010's way in part because of Leafy is here's lack of you know sort of leadership over his follower base but also in large part because of like this herd mentality of like how loads and loads and loads of like fans of big name YouTubers will sometimes band together and just defend their viewpoints to the death and again as Pyrocynical and many other YouTubers have said since this whole thing has blown up this has been going on for hundreds and if not thousands of years and will continue to go on so long as we have this sort of type of mentality about big name celebrities and sort of YouTube and internet celebrities and personalities and that sort of thing. And this is very true, this has been going on for hundreds if not thousands of years and I do think this has to be tempered somewhat when you're approaching a situation such as this. Uh, not just in regards to the abuse sent Tommy NC 2010's way but also Leafy is here, H3H3 Productions, even Parasynical got some hate, even and even though he wasn't even involved in the whole situation. So I think everyone needs to just calm their shit, calm down, and critically assess, you know, both H3H3 Productions and Leafy is here. 
and just leave Tommy NC 2010 alone. Don't give him any hate. Come on, the guy doesn't deserve it. He deserves love, respect, you know, and plenty of subscribers. Because I'll be perfectly honest, he's a little bit awkward, but at the same time, he makes good content. He seems like a nice guy. You know, he's, you know, we're all awkward here and there, aren't we? Really? I mean, I know I certainly am. I mean, that's that's why I'm still single, for goodness sake. I'm I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a uh, cockeyed sort of slightly awkward sort of old fella and uh, I mean I don't know we all are sometimes I feel we all are awkward to some degree or another and I feel like you know sort of really harshly haranguing someone about this isn't going to benefit any degree and particularly if you've got a large follower base this is just going to end up in heartbreak so I think Leafy is here and H3H3 H3 Reproductions just need to take a moment to step back think about what they've done apologize to everyone that they've hurt and you know and then just like try not you know get into drama uh, anymore I mean you know I've sort of perhaps could have see, be seen as sort of like you know stoking the fire of YouTuber drama before myself although considering you know I'm a very small YouTuber myself I don't think that my influence on situations like this would have any impact if any at all so that's kind of irrelevant really at this point and besides I'm you know I'm, I'm the kind of guy who will like make a mistake look back at it like two or three weeks later and think wow I was a fucking idiot about that uh, you know it, we all do these sorts of things and I think Leafy is here does have to apologize but at the same time I don't think he did it you know with the intention of hurting this guy because because he had autism because I don't know and I don't I don't know if he did realize that guy had autism beforehand and I don't think he knew beforehand that he did so I think everyone just needs to calm down relax you know have a sip of uh, cranberry juice and vodka and uh, just chill out chill out for a bit relax go away for a couple of days think about it research this thing and then create a more sort of informed opinion on this whole situation I might have been you know a little bit sort of worked up about this but at the same time I think that I myself and everyone should just step back calm out and just relax have a couple of drinks go out chill out go see a movie stay back away from this whole drama for a couple of days and then you know give our tuppence on it and you know maybe research it actually no, definitely research it a fair bit because uh, that's the way these kind of things blow up I think you know one of the reasons why it probably did end up blowing up so much in uh, Leafy is here's face is because he probably didn't do enough research. So, you know, it's it's there's a, there's a lot of factors that feed into this. So I don't think we can really pin it on any one single party. And I don't think you know, of course, Tommy NC twenty ten doesn't deserve any of the hate he's getting. So I don't think you know anyone should be giving him shit or anyone should be po pointing hate his way. It's just wrong. It really is wrong. And I don't, I think it should stop immediately. It's really really starting to piss me off how much you know this herd mentality just goes after people just because they disagree with them or just because they're a bit awkward or just you know anything really it's like unless you know of course they did something genuinely wrong like a come like Sam and Pepper did or uh, like Lion Maker did for being found out as being a paedophile or you know that you know those uh, Minecraft YouTubers a few years back who were found out about you know being murderers or shit like that you know crazy shit like that like really people who are genuinely harming people other people you know they should be called out they should be called bastards they should be sort of you know criticized to the ends of the earth someone like Tommy NC 2010 who's a bit awkward and a bit a bit odd here and there doesn't deserve that he does not deserve that in the slightest now if I don't know he did, creates like a satanic bloodletting cult that eats puppies and sets fire to hospitals and I don't know maybe but like the guy, the guy's just a bit awkward. He's just a bit un unusual to some people. But apart from that, he's a normal guy. And the reason why he's awkward isn't, you know, it's nothing he can control. The guy has autism, and he's doing his best to live his life. He's doing his best. He's doing the things he loves. Let's just give him some love, support, and friendship. And you know, this is coming from someone else who has autism. So I know what he feels like. Fortunately, I've never faced the kind of online abuse he has, and I hope I never do because no one deserves it when they've done nothing wrong I hope I've gotten through to some of you people and I hope that this you know appears to be an influential opinion that 
you know, hopefully turns a lot of heads away from hate and speech of this nature, of this sort of haranguing, harassing sort of nature. So I hope, I hope I've, you know, reached out and, I don't know, touched a few of your minds and sort of convinced you to think otherwise, you know, I don't know. You can only try, can't you? Anyway, I just wanted to give my tuppence on that whole situation and uh, I'm sorry if this does seem a little bit unprofessional and if this does seem a bit angry, but uh, like I said, you know, you can only try so much, can you? Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's all for now, really. Uh, there might be some more information that might come up about this in the future, but who knows? Uh, I just wanted to give my tuppence on it, really. So uh, until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have had making it and talking about it. Uh, have fun with whatever you're doing. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Take care, have fun, all that good stuff, and uh, until next time, I'll see you lovelies on the battlefield.